Hello, welcome to this MagicAd for Revit new features webinar for MagicAd 2018 main release. Uh, this feature is looking at the new horizontal crossing tools that we have. Um, I'll demonstrate how this is meant to work and how this is used in workflow to avoid clashes with other uh, objects in the model. So go to uh, horizontal crossing tool here and select that. Then go to this plan view, and the first one I'm going to show you is looking down at the supply duct in blue. I'm going to go round the return air rectangular duct in the pink. So I'm going to click where I want the first set around to be made, and then set back again is there. You see the markers on the screen now. Then we'll choose the side at which to uh, be a reference point for this offset, so the side of this rectangular duct. Click there. And you can see now that it will give a little preview <clears throat> of the offset in the plan view, the 3D view, and also we have a, a 3D preview view also in this uh, dialog box. Um, we can put our tolerance, so this is a gap between the two objects, in this case ducts. So you can see there a 50 millimeters gap. You can choose the angle, so a shallower or a tighter angle as required. <clears throat> It will also give you the maximum offset that is possible with these angles because obviously each duct angle, whether it's steep or shallow, will have a, a maximum um, ability to, before it uh, collides with each other on the fittings in the middle. So this, in this case, it's, you can see the maximum there. Uh, you can reselect using this button here, uh, the reference point, should you wish to at this point. And using this arrow, you can also change the side that the offset is made. So you can flick back into like so. And then once you're happy with it, just press OK. And then you can now see that that uh, offset has now been made in this model. You can see there it goes around the, the duct work, as the name suggests, in horizontal fashion there. Uh, the other example of how this can be used as well uh, could be in a section. So if you've got a vertical riser and you wish to offset around other objects, um, that are interfering or colliding with this um, as it drops down vertically through the <clears throat> through the building. So in this example, going into this section here, uh, in this view, you can see I've got the rectangular duct here clashing again with the supply duct. But this time I'm going to offset like this, and then like this, around this uh, supply duct, and I'll just choose a reference point again at the edge of this duct, and you'll see it should produce a result like on the screen now. So you can see it's put in the, the bends as appropriate. Uh, if I want to change that to say 30 degrees, then I can do that and then see the preview. And again, you can see the preview both in the section view, the 3D view there, and also in my preview there. Uh, I can choose a different tolerance here as well. So let's choose 100 millimeters, press OK. And that updates it slightly. If I'm happy with that, just press OK there. And you can see in the section view that it's now offset the vertical duct in the manner at which I uh, selected to do that. And obviously in the 3D view as well, you can see how that's worked. So that's a quick overview of the new horizontal crossing tool. Uh, thank you for watching.